Hey guys, welcome back to my weekly mod series. This video will cover a lot of mods that were released within the past week for both Forge and Fabric on Minecraft 1.16.4. All the links can be found in the description below. Dummy players are new items which are similar to armor stands. They can be set to look like any skin you'd like. Just like armor stands, they can be set between poses using commands and equipped with armor, weapons, and items. Campfire Overhaul will make quite a lot of changes to campfires. Firstly, they'll have a new recipe, which is just two logs and two sticks, allowing them to be crafted from your inventory. On a campfire, you'll have access to some new recipes, allowing you to turn logs into charcoal, dry out wet sponges, and make bricks out of clay. There are a few changes to the mechanics too, as campfires will now go out after a certain amount of time, and will need to be set alight again using a flint and steel. You can also add more fuel to make the fire last longer. More flower bushes will add 8 new flower bushes to Minecraft, which are all 2 blocks tall. Like regular flower bushes, they'll spawn in all forest type biomes. They're great for using as either decorations for your base or to be turned into dyes. Bees can also use them for pollination. The Architect's Palette adds a lot of new blocks which are designed to be used when building up your world. The developer claims the mod is survival friendly, and it's recommended to use just enough items so you can see all the new recipes. The mod has been designed so that the blocks are used in randomly generated structures, although this hasn't been implemented yet. Tree plant will cause any saplings that naturally drop from trees to automatically replant themselves, and it also works with mushrooms. It should save you a lot of time when looking for trees if you don't usually replant saplings yourself. Effect enchantments will add a load of new enchantments which apply already existing status effects. You'll now be able to permanently have the likes of regeneration, slow falling, speed effects, and more. Although they can only be applied to certain items, for example the slow falling effect comes from the feathery enchantment, and can only be applied to boots, whereas the gill breathing enchantment provides the water breathing effect and can only be placed on helmets. Forgery is a huge mod, adding over 100 features and changes to Minecraft, although most might not be too useful to you. Some of the most notable changes include a mods command, allowing you to see a list of installed mods in-game. When creepers catch fire, they will begin to explode. If a trident is thrown into a void with the loyalty enchantment, it will fly backwards to you. Walking on top of cacti or berries when wearing armor will negate any damage taken. Enchanted books now show the first letter of their enchantment, so you can quickly see what they are. Again, this is just a small number of changes, and the rest can be found on the Curse Forge page. The Ore Scanner is a new tool allowing to find nearby ores. It can be crafted by combining three iron ingots, a redstone block, and two sticks in a crafting table. You'll then need to upgrade it inside a smithing table. When pointed at blocks, hard particles will show if you're pointing at ore you've told it to find. I've covered extra TNT in the past, back when it was a fabric mod, but it's now been recently made available for Forge too. This mod adds five new types of explosives, which are the sparkler, pink, fountain, geyser, and ultimate TNT. They all explode in different ways, but it's the ultimate TNT which is the deadliest. If you set off multiples at once, then you might even crash your game. Timber framing adds some more decoration blocks to Minecraft, which are great for building the exterior of houses with. You'll have access to most of the building blocks you normally would, but they'll have wooden framing instead, which give a more authentic and traditional appearance. New XP ore will add three new ores to your game, which can be found in the overworld, nether, and end dimensions. These ores drop between 10 and 25 experience when mined. In the overworld and end, you'll find up to 10 ore veins per chunk, whereas in the nether, you can find up to 16 veins per chunk. Hardcore Extended aims to make Minecraft much harder. There are a few new challenges which introduce mechanics where you can't heal, sleep, damage enemies, jump, sprint, or break blocks. You can choose which features you want to enable or disable in the config files. 
Evolved RPG is an alpha, but currently adds a few new features. There are three unique sets of armor, three weapon types, and a few mobs. The included mobs are the Desert Golem, Scorpion, Black Scorpion, Kobold, and Deep Crawler, which can all be found within your game world. Alaska Native Craft aims to bring aspects of Alaskan culture into Minecraft. Firstly, it adds three new mobs, which include seals, moose, and birds. The birds can be tamed using seeds and will sit on your shoulder similar to parrots. You'll also find new armor, tools, and weapons such as the harpoon, which can be used in water. There's even dog sleds, which can be attached to your wolf, which are great to use when traveling through frozen biomes. Fading will make some changes to the light sources in your game. Now they'll slowly burn out, which will encourage you to seek out alternative light sources. This mod currently affects torches, lanterns, and campfires, as well as their soul variants. Spellbound enchantments will add 14 new enchantments to Minecraft, which can be applied to your tools, weapons, and armor. Some of the most noteworthy are Impersonal, which teleports you behind your enemy. Red Alert will provide you with a shield effect every few seconds and will negate the next source of damage. Dullness is the opposite of sharpness and will lower the amount of damage your tools deal. Tethered will bind your target to your weapon, holding them in place or dragging them towards you. Vanilla Foods Enhanced adds a few new food items to your game. There are also two new blocks, which are the Choco Cake and the Egg Block which have some new features planned. When it comes to food, you can craft two new types of cookies, which are the sweet berry and honey cookies. There are also two new pies, which are the sweet berry and apple pies. To make pumpkins a little more useful, you can now create pumpkin slices and pumpkin soup. If you don't mind cheating in your world, then take a look at the simple angel ring. It can be crafted by combining two feathers, two phantom membrane, four gold nuggets, and another star in a crafting table. When in your inventory, the ring will give you creative flight and fall damage immunity. Compact TNT is a new variant of TNT, which can be thrown and will detonate after four seconds. Compared to regular TNT, the explosion is around 40% as strong. It can easily be crafted as all it requires is sand and gunpowder. Damage Tint will alert you when you lose health. The edge of your screen will turn red when you take damage and darken the more damage you take. The Kiln is a new type of furnace which can smelt recipes which blast furnaces or smokers can't. Some of the new recipes include clay balls into bricks, nether bricks from nether rack, and glass from sand. I've mentioned comforts in a few of my videos. It will add two new items to Minecraft, which are the sleeping bag and hammock, which come in lots of colors. They both allow you to sleep during the day and night and won't set a spawn point, allowing you to keep your original spawn available. That concludes this list. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like and subscribe for my future content. I've also got quite a few more 1.16.4 videos on my channel.